Hello everyone. Welcome back to Trade Masters channel where we take the toughest of stocks for the simplest technical patterns. So today we are going to analyze about uh, Dynamatic uh, Technologies. It is a small cap industry once again. And if you look at the business model of Dynamatic Technologies, these guys are into the productions of uh, hydraulic gear pumps and automotive turbochargers. And they have a wide variety of clients uh, including aerospace, automotive and even hydraulic uh, industries. And overall, they are selling their products across six continents uh, in the world and including Europe and India as well. And the most key important point over here is Dynamity Technologies is the world's leading manufacturer of hydraulic gear pumps and automotive turbochargers. Almost 75% of the Indian tra tractor companies are using uh, uh, Dynamity Technologies products and they have a market share of almost 35% on global tractors as well. So overall, if you look at the business model of Dynamity Technologies, it is really strong and they are having a combining uh, share price in the market global market value as well so that is why i'm super bullish on dynamatic technologies for a short term to medium term perspective so uh, if you look overall that is on the fundamental viewpoint and just a key important note over here is uh, almost a 25 percentage of the institutions of the shares of dynamatic technologies are being held by institutions so almost uh, 17 percentage are being held by the dis and uh, 12 percentage are being held by the fis so almost 25 to 27 percentage is being held by the institutions and uh, that too in the recent two quarters so this gives me a clear indication that dynamic te technologies from the fundamental viewpoint it is having a good scope to boom in the coming few months all right and uh, from the technical viewpoint as well we have a good uh, pattern that is formed it is a bullish pattern that i see over here and we'll be discussing about that pattern now okay so moving on to the technical chart this is a four hour time frame chart that i'm showing over here and the first thing we need to do is we need to plot the support and resistance so over here i see this particular point as a strong level of uh, resistance right so let me mark this resistance in red so previously it was acting as a resistance over here the stock could not take the resistance it came down over here the stock could not take the resistance once again it came down and uh, recently on last week that is 4th of october we have a clear cut record and if you look at the breakout the body of the candle is very huge and the biggest are small so i consider this as a good level of breakout and after that the stock started to consolidate so on the support and resistance level we have a clear cut breakout on the stock and uh, this uh, yeah this resistance level is now going to act as a strong level of support and if you look at yesterday's uh, candle it is very close to the retail zone so even from the current market price the stock is looking really attractive to buy and uh, on the support and level uh, breakout we have a good level of uh, breakout and we have a good level of retest as well but this is on the uh, resistance and support level but it, there is another uh, technical uh, pattern that is formed over here and that is the cup and handle pattern so this is the cup of the pattern and uh, this is the handle so from the cup and handle pattern also we can see that uh, the breakout has happened and uh, the retest point is going to be somewhere around 4350 to 4330 so my entry price over here is going to be buy and dip still uh, 4350 to 4380 that is going to be my entry price in this particular stock let me shrink uh, the stock over here yeah so current market price is, is at uh, 4404 and my entry price is going to be buy and dip still 4350 that is going to be my entry price and coming to the targets so my first target over here is going to be 4800 this is going to be my first target and my second target over here is going to be 5200 so these are the two targets what i'm freezing for uh, dynamic technologies and these two targets can be done just within a short span of two months so 60 days is the maximum holding period what i'm prepared to hold dynamic technologies for a target of 5200 all right and my buy price is going to be buy and dip still 4350 even from the current market price also it is really attractive so if you want to enter the current market price also you can enter and in case if you want to buy it in dips then you can buy it in dips still 4350 it is entirely up to you and stop loss you can keep uh, below this pre previous low that is uh, somewhere around uh, 3930 can be a good level of stop loss so 3930 to 3940 can be a good level of stop loss so you can freeze your stop loss around that particular levels and uh, once my once my stock comes to my best, sorry. Once this stock comes to my best uh, buying zone of 4350, I'm looking at a returns of almost a 20 percentage. So 20 percentage returns is the maximum returns what I'm expecting from Dynamatic Technologies. And uh, once uh, my final target of 5200 is done, I'm looking at a returns of almost uh, 850 points. That is uh, equivalent to 20 percentage returns okay so this is a return on investment perspective and if you look at the risk reward as well 
this is going to be my best buying zone and this is going to be my stop loss around this particular point and this is going to be my target so i'm looking at a risk load of 1 to 2.2 so for a risk of one point my reward is going to be two points and that's basically for a risk of 400 points my reward is going to be almost 860 points so that's a pretty good risk load as well and considering this is going to be a short-term investment more like a positional trade so within a period of 60 days or two months you can expect a return of almost 20 percent so that's a pretty good return on investment for a short-term investment trade all right so yeah that pretty much concludes the technical viewpoint on dynamatic technologies i hope this video was useful and i hope you liked watching this video and uh, if you do like my analysis please do click on the like button and if you want to support our channel please do click on the subscribe button as well i'll see you guys in the next video till then it's bye from chris take care bye bye and thank you for watching